Hello, my name is Demetrius with Marvamon Industries, makers of the 17 inch Pony R wheels. This is a first in a series of videos to um, help you, to give you some tips on care and maintenance of your wheels. What I have here is a 17 by 9 Pony R wheel, chrome that's been uh, slightly neglected. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go over a few care and maintenance tips, show you how to care for the face of the wheel and also for the barrel. These wheels come with a seven year structural warranty that covers manufacturing defects as far as the structure of the wheel goes. If the wheel is uh, out of round uh, or there's a problem with the lug holes mounting area, covers for any cracks or damage um, to the uh, wheel as a result or due to uh, manufacturer's defects. The finish has a one year warranty uh, on the chrome and on paint. It's a uh, free replacement for the one year. Covers peeling, cracking, chipping, discoloration of the chrome. So I'm going to do two things today. We're going to polish and take care of the front face of the wheel. We're going to also maintain the barrel of the wheel. The face of the wheel is covered under warranty. The barrel is not. The steps, the machinery, the equipment, the things that are done to produce this shiny finish, this chrome finish, are geared towards the face of the wheel. And you can see that the face of the wheel has quite a few different contours and it's pretty dissimilar from the barrel of the wheel. So <coughs> the uh, chroming process is mainly geared for the face of the wheel and that's where the warranty is. Now the barrel of the wheel is a maintenance issue and that's something that you need to, uh, to take care of and to also uh, might require maintenance if you have your wheels for for many many years. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, take care of the barrel of the wheel. So when you you would want to wash the barrel of the wheel, remove any kind of dirt, grime, brake dust that, that's on there, you can use a non-corrosive uh, soap, something that you'd probably wash the body of the car with, clean it really well and dry it also really well. Once that's done, you want to take the window areas. And with our pony wheel, that's fairly easy to do. I've got some of this three inch painter's tape that I'm going to use to do that. And basically, I'm just going to lay it down here over the window areas. Okay. Get it down here in that groove. Cover that window area up there. I'm just going to go around here and get this down here in that groove there, okay? Of the wheel. Now I'm just going to come in here and just stay down here in this groove, okay? And then I'm just going to follow this kind of groove around and go very lightly just to mainly cut the tape we don't want to dig into the the wheel just just enough just a lightly around if you've got a sharp razor that always helps because um, that'll just cut the tape won't really dig into the the wheel and so we're just gonna follow this groove around all the way around the nice thing is is on this pony wheel you got that groove there and so we can just then lift up this tape And then this will go all the way around the wheel there. Um, okay. And then the next area that we want to cover is this hub here. Again, there's a groove here that you want to stay close to. 
and just bring that around. You don't have to be real precise around here. It's just uh, just to get this. You could even leave this the way it is, but since this is going to show through the window areas, you might want to just bring some of the paint down into this area in here. Okay. And again, <coughs> just kind of want to go lightly around there. This is not going to be seen, but a little bit of it will be seen, you know, when you look through the window area. So we're just going to, we're going to paint that also. Now you could leave that, like I said, you could, you could cover this area up with paint, or with tape, so that it, it doesn't get painted. So you could tape this area up in here also so that there's no paint here. You could leave the, the finish on it if you wanted to because you could see that. I'm going to go ahead and paint this on this wheel. I'm going to paint this area black and this area black. So we've got the wheel taped up. That didn't take very long at all. And I've taken some sandpaper and cut it into uh, eighths here. And some rectangular pieces. I'm using 220 grit sandpaper. We don't need a real smooth finish for the inside of the barrel. So I'm just going to work this down very slowly. I'm going to stay as close to that edge as I can. Again, this, this surface has already been washed and cleaned. So I'm just going to go just over this area to scuff it up. Now, if you have a wheel that, that maybe is a little bit dirtier or maybe has a few more rough spots, you want to spend a little extra time with it uh, to work those areas out. This, this part of the wheel, again, doesn't show very much. So the main idea here is to get a good layer of paint on it. So put a protective coat over this chrome. Work out any uh, rough spots you might have. Try to get into this groove here. Just keep spinning it around again. Some, real, some wheels will require more attention than others. If you got a brand new wheel, and this is something that you want to do, um, you don't have. You probably won't have to do very much at all. Uh, just a little bit of prep work, like I'm doing here, and uh, just spend a little bit of time following this around here. Stay real close to the paper. You don't have to worry about messing up the edge on the tape because that's not going to be seen. That's in the back of this, this uh, window area there, so that's not going to be seen. So the main idea is just to stay as close to that as we can to get a good scuffing on the surface so the paint has something to stick to. So I'm just going to follow this around real close. And again, it's probably going to be a little bit of a jagged edge once I finish painting it, but that's okay because it's not going to be seen. I want to get real close to that area where I that I that I you know that we got taped off here. So I'm just gonna follow that all the way around. And again, don't have to spend a whole lot of time. You just need a little bit of cleanup work and make sure you just scuff it up enough for the paint to stick to something. Okay?